Welcome everyone, my name's Liz and let's jump into our first project. So for this first one, you're gonna grab a frame from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove all the inside of it, the cardboard, the picture, and the glass. I'm gonna take some of this burlap fabric that I got from burlapfabric.com. I'll link their website down in the description box for you guys. They were kind enough to send me some really awesome products. So I cannot wait to show you guys what I came up with using their products. I started by taking some of their burlap fabric. I measured it down a little bit wider than that cardboard in the back of the frame. I went through and measured out three different strips to cover that cardboard, making sure that they're all the same size and I just used a rotary blade to cut those through. After I did that, I got another piece of burlap fabric and I began to hot glue it onto the back of that cardboard from the frame. I used this little tool that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just used it to make sure that it was pulled tight onto the cardboard. I just went through with my rotary blade and cut off all the excess burlap from that cardboard. Now I'm going to take my three strips that I got for this first one. I did fold over the top of it so that it had a nice seam. You don't necessarily have to do this because of what I'm going to do later. But I'm going to take that and I am going to pull it as tight as I can and wrap the sides around the cardboard and hot glue those down. Now I should have probably lowered this first strip just a little bit because in the end it does, it's not completely even, but it doesn't bother me too bad. <laughs> so if you're doing this, probably just make sure that you're getting them evenly on there. I'm going to run a strip of hot glue on the bottom so that it, when I put things into that pocket, they're not falling all the way through. So I'm going to add that second strip and I'm going to overlap it on that first strip that we added just a little bit to cover up the bottom. And I'm going to follow the same process of hot gluing it to the back and then I'm going to say follow that same process for my third strip of burlap, just overlapping that middle piece and then hot gluing it to the back. So essentially you are going to have three different pockets. You want to make sure that you are hot gluing the bottom of each pocket so that when you're putting things in there, they're not going to fall through. I grabbed this lace ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use this to add a little trim to the top of each pocket. I wanted them to stand out a little bit more. You weren't really able to tell where the pockets were without it so i thought that this was a cute little way to add a little bit more extra something a little bit more extra detail and it made each pocket look that much cuter so i just added a little bit of hot glue to the middle of my ribbon wrapped it around the back and then hot glued them onto the back now i'm gonna take my waverly chalk paint and plaster and i'm gonna take that picture frame that we had from the beginning and I'm going to paint that entire picture frame in this paint. I did have to do about two coats to get that gold all covered up. Then I went in with my Waverly Wax in Antique and I distressed this frame. I loved the little bumps and ridges that it had on it. So by adding this Waverly Wax, it gave the frame so much more detail and it made those little bumps on the frame pop out. And I thought that it turned out so, so cute. I'm just going to insert my cardboard back into the sign. Now you could add some craft paper or really anything else to the back of it. You could even add some more burlap to the entire back to give it a nice clean finish. And this is how my little organizer, mail organizer turned out. I thought that it was absolutely adorable and I cannot wait to hang it up in my home. So for this next project, you're gonna grab another piece of burlap fabric. You're gonna cut it down to the size of printer paper. So about an eight and a half by 11. I just measured it down to this sheet of label paper that I have. I just buy these in a pack from Amazon. I'm going to remove the backing from that label paper and I'm going to stick this down to that paper. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I am going to 
print an image onto my burlap. I want to make sure that the ink isn't going to seep through my burlap and get all over my printer. So that is why I use the label paper so that it sticks to the burlap and is all secure. And also it gives it a little bit more firmness for the printer to drag it through and print the image on it. And I just used my Cricut to add a design to it and I just sent my design to my printer. You can really just use any kind of software that you have to print out a picture and you're just going to print it out like you would normally on any kind of paper. I just stuck it down in there. Now I did have to kind of help it feed through in the beginning just to get it started. I just pushed on it when the printer was trying to take the paper and then once it did that it worked perfectly. And I'm going to take one of Dollar Tree's 8x10 canvases and I'm going to cut the canvas off of the frame. I didn't bother removing the staples just because they were going to be covered up and it is such a pain to get those out. Once I get all the canvas off I am going to sand down my wood frame just to get all the little rough edges off. I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint and plaster and I'm going to paint the entire frame in just one coat of this paint. Once I've done that, I'm going to take my Waverly Wax and Antique and I'm going to distress my sign, really just doing a dry brush technique all over the entire sign. I wanted it to look like it was an old weathered piece of wood that used to be painted in an ivory color. And to help it look a little bit more weathered, I'm going to take some sandpaper. I'm going to go over that entire frame with that sandpaper. Once I've done that, I'm going to take the canvas that was on the frame and I'm going to cut that down and I am going to glue my burlap down to the back of the canvas. I wanted to do this so that my burlap was a little bit more sturdy on the frame and it gave a little bit more material to attach to the back of my frame. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue to my frame and press that down onto my burlap sheet. I'm going to go through and make sure that I'm pulling tight across the frame so that my burlap lap sign is nice and taut on my frame and then I'm going to go in with my staple gun and just add some staples around each side. I am so excited. This project is perfect for those of you who do not have a Cricut or any way to add kind of decals or anything like that to signs and it was so easy to print onto this burlap and I think it just turned out absolutely adorable. Now for this next project, I got this ticking fabric again from Burlap Fabric and I think this is such a cute pattern. I have been obsessed with the ticking pattern lately so I was super excited to receive this. So I'm going to make myself a pillow. So I measured out about a nine by nine pillow. I go through with some fabric glue from Surebonder and I'm going to hot glue all of the sides of my pillow. Now I did leave about a four inch gap to add my fill to it. Now I hot glued it this way because I did want the edges to be frayed. If you want a more clean seam around the edges, you can do this the opposite way where you put the right sides together and hot glue them that way and then flip it inside out. But because I did want my edges frayed, I did hot glue them wrong sides together. Now I'm going to go through with some scissors and just add some slits around all the sides. This is what is going to give me my frayed look. I'm going to rough up all the sides of my pillow just so that it looks a lot more messy and rustic and frayed. Get all those loose strings out of there. Now I'm going to take my Easy Press from Cricut and I'm going to add a decal onto this. So I'm just going to start by heating up my material on the front. I'm going to take my decal and I'm going to hold it down there for about 20 seconds. I flip it over and do the exact same thing. And then once I have that decal on there, I'm going to begin to fill my pillow with some polyfill. Once I've got that all filled, I'm going to take my shirt bonder hot glue again and I am just going to hot glue that opening closed. 
I'm going to go through and cut those edges once again, rough it all up so that it makes it a little bit more rustic and messy. And that is it for this super cute ticking pillow. I am so excited for this. I think it will add such a cute little touch to my living room and I definitely want to make more pillows out of this material. I'm just gonna make my whole house in this material. I think it is so gorgeous. For this project, I'm going to take one of these burlap bags that, again, you can get from burlapfabric.com. I just heated up the material on the front and the back. I cut out this decal with my Cricut, and I'm going to iron this on to my little bag. Now, these bags are so cute. You could use these for gift bags and add decals on there, or you could even use a stencil and use paint. I got one of these little strings of lights from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to add my batteries in, and then I am going to put in this little square sign that I also got from the Dollar Tree to allow my bag to stand up right. And then I'm going to take this burlap ribbon that is from burlap fabric and some Dollar Tree lace ribbon. I'm going to layer those on top of each other and then I'm just going to tie a simple bow. Once I've got that bow made, I'm going to add some hot glue and I am going to just add that to the top of my burlap bag. And this is how this turned out. I think it's so cute sitting on my farmhouse shelves. Now for my last project, I wanted a square sign, but I didn't have one. So I'm going to take one of Dollar Tree sign, rectangle signs, and I'm going to use a blade to cut this down into the size of a square. Really all I did was score it and then snapped it in half and then cut the excess board off that didn't come off the first time. I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm going to give this one coat. Once I've done that, I am going to divide my sign into three different sections. I just measured out the length of the sign and then used a paint pen to draw on my lines. I'm going to take some of my Waverly chalk paint in ink. I'm going to go over those lines and then I'm just going to heavily distress my entire sign. I'm going to take my sandpaper to go over all of the lines and the entire sign just just to make it look a little bit more rough and rustic, making sure that the lines don't look super neat. Now I'm gonna take a piece of burlap fabric and I'm gonna cut this down to the size that I want it. Now I want it a little bit smaller than the sign itself. So I just measured it and then kept cutting to where I thought that it looked good. Once I've done that, I am going to fray all four edges of my burlap. I'm going to take two bead, two wooden beads that I got from Amazon. I'm going to use my miter shears and I'm going to cut both of those beads in half. Now you can do really whatever you want right here. I decided to write the letter M for our last name. I just used a pencil and a ruler to make sure I had straight lines. I am not super great when it comes to bubble letters, so I just did a simple M. I think it would look really, really cute with bubble letters, so if that is something you can do, by all means, please do it. Now I took some metallic copper paint and I used that to paint those beads. I'm going to take that burlap and I am going to hot glue all four corners down to my sign. And then I'm going to hot glue those beads down to all four corners as well. And I tried my best to make sure that those beads were on top of the hot glue spots that showed through when I hot glued the burlap to the sign just so that it would cover those up. Now I'm going to take these beads that I got from Amazon once again and I'm going to take some wire and some twine and I am going to thread some of those beads on there. Now I wanted to add the twine to the wire just so that I could tie some knots at each end to keep the beads in place, but I wanted the wire in there so that I could manipulate the hanger. I am just going to use the remainder of the twine to tie a couple knots on each end. Once I've done that, I'm just going to hot glue my hanger to the back of my sign, and that is it for this project.
and that's it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite project was in the comments down below. A huge thanks again to Burlap Fabric for sending me these items. I am so grateful and I am having so much fun DIYing with them. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!